What's going on guys? Asian guy here alongside my wife. Mega And today we are going to be reacting and covering the patch 2.3 live stream, which as you can see has essentially confirmed the Albedo rerun. We're also going to find out more about Goro and Arataki Itto today. I'm going to chop up this video so that it's going to be a nice concise summary of the main parts of the official patch 2.3 live stream. Here we go. It's going to go live any moment now. Are we ready? Patch 2.3 live stream, let's Hi go! Everybody. I'm Kor Yi, and I voice Goro in Genshin Impact. Here we go. General Goro of the Watatsumi Island Resistance, ready and waiting. <laughs> ready and <laughs> nice. waiting. And our other host for today is Koi. Hey there, I'm Koi, Koi Dao. I play Albedo, Chief Alchemist of the Knights of Favonius, as you can see from my chibi, which is super adorable, by the way. <clears throat> my, it certainly is lively outside of the workshop. <laughs> Welcome to the special program, guys. Are you too excited? Yeah, man. Like, Genshin is my favorite game right now, so I'm just excited to talk about the details of Goro. Well, I'm just super glad Goro's to be included. Haven't done one of these before, but I've been thought. wanting to, because look at my teeny tiny little chibi body. I am so adorable! <laughs> 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 As always, we'll be doing previews for the upcoming content in version 2.3. You guys ready? Oh, I am so ready. Let's do it, man. All right. All right. Here's Let's the trailer, start by guys. jumping right into the version trailer. Shadows amidst snowstorms. Ooh, sounds edgy. Ooh. That's a lot of S's. Here we go. With this newfound strength, I will defend those who fight alongside me. Protecting my soldiers doesn't just mean having a robust defense in place. It means Wait. going on the attack. The key to seizing victory. Wait, battle, Goro's uh, voice actor is able to switch it so well. And employing the right tactics to generate momentum. What the big dog? Oh, no. big oh, dragon yeah. doggo. Keep your weapon at the ready. You never know what's around the corner. <laughs> Press the advantage. The Tenryo Commission recently issued an arrest warrant. Arataki, so we've been trying to apprehend him recently. People see Oni cause trouble again. That'll be the only purpose of this sacrifice for me. Come on, oh, man. the you Giga Chad. Just give yourself up, Arataki. Oh, his voice. A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. When it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. Ah, an idiot Oni. What did you say, little one? Go on. Say it to my face. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's beautiful. Time. He's a pro, oh. Yeah. Oh, coming through. Step aside. Ito's back in town. Oh, he looks so cool. Now it's good. He looks up. so cool. Uh, Uh, he doesn't do that in game. There's no way he does that in game. The things to which human beings are Dragon spy. I pursue oh, the everyday, spy. the ordinary, to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. Dragon spy is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries, a vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. People are put off by the cold and don't realize that there is much to explore beneath oh. the icy Ooh. exterior. Are you here to build a snowman too? Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Aww. What's on your mind? Cute. You seem a little distracted. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Oh, no. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. Oh, Dragon Spine no. has become more dangerous than it used to be. Huh? Oh, no. Avalanche! <gasps> Albedo. What the devil do you think you were doing? Oh, what was that? Oh! Young Benete! Wait, Albedo's rebelling? What's he doing? Oh my god. Albedo versus the world. What? Oh, oh Primo Gem Co. number one. KB6DKD's nuts M7H49. It says DN. It's D's nuts. It says DN. Okay. What, what do you mean? It literally says it there. Look. Okay. That's not true. 
Oh, he's beautiful! He's beautiful! He's beautiful! He's got, oh, okay. Okay, why is this fan service? Why is that fan service? Oh, it so is a bull. Cute. Oh, he attacks so fast. Oh, so it's kind of similar to... to Raiden. His thing changed into a club. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Check, check, one, two, three. Arataki numero uno Ito here in the flesh. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Talking about Ito's fighting style? Cool, let's get into it. Ito wields a claymore and manipulates the geo element. He's strong, tough, reliable, a true oni horn to toe. His normal attack performs up to four consecutive strikes. And when his second and fourth attacks hit opponents, Ito will gain stacks of superlative super strength. Pretty cool name, huh? Oh, another that thing to note is that Chad Ito's name. normal attack combo won't reset for a short time after using his elemental skill or performing a sprint, which means you can keep on swinging even after you move. When you hold to initiate a charged attack, you can use superlative strength stacks to perform our attack. Dude, his attack string looks so cool. Without spending any stamina. Ooh. Each Arataki Kesagiri Slash will consume one stack of superlative super strength. When the final stack is consumed, Ito will unleash an especially powerful attack. When no stacks of superlative super strength are available, Ito will perform a Saichi Monji Slash. Oh, and most importantly, remember to keep your hairstyle as cool as possible, even when the wind keeps trying to mess it up. <laughs> After unlocking the talent Arataki Ichiban, which, by the way, means Ito's the best, when Ito uses consecutive Arataki Kesagiri, his resistance to interruption greatly increases, and each slash causes the subsequent slash to have higher attack speed. So your slashes will keep getting faster and harder to stop. He looks like a character I really enjoy talents, playing. Bloodline of the Crimson Oni, damage of Ito's Arataki Kesagiri is increased by a certain percentage of Ito's defense. When using his elemental oh. skill, Ito hurls Defense? Ushi, the young Aka Ushi bull, at opponents, gods? dealing geo damage. When Ushi hits opponents, it'll grant Ito one stack of superlative super strength. Ushi also happens to be an auxiliary Ushi's member so of the Arataki cute. gang. Aw, isn't it cute? Aww. Anyway, uh, Ushi is considered a geo construct, and it'll remain on the field to taunt a surrounding geo opponents construct? and draw their attacks. But Ushi won't stick around forever. It'll flee when its HP drops to zero or its duration ends. He's so Ushi cute! Ushi also grants Ito one stack of superlative super strength when it takes damage and when it leaves. Next up, let's talk about Ito's Oni King form. After unleashing his elemental burst, Royal Descent, behold Ito oh the Evil, my God. Ito lets his inner raging Oni King emerge, using his Oni King's Kanabo in battle. Yeah, you see that Macy that swinging? Looks so cool. During this state, Ito's normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to geo damage that cannot be overridden. The first and third combos of his normal attack will grant Arataki Ito himself one stack of superlative super strength when they hit opponents. While in Raging Oni King state, Ito's elemental and physical resistance drop, but his attack will be increased based on his defense, and his normal attack speed will also be increased. Ito also has an exploration talent, Woodchuck Chucked. When we have Ito in our party, we will have a chance to obtain an additional log of wood while using attacks to collect wood from a tree. Wow. So, collecting wood materials will be more efficient. Wow, wood slick, cutting huh? simulator. Anyway, I'm wow. Looking to everyone interact with Ito I'm so excited to chop wood with he's Ito, honestly guys. A really fun character to voice. And those are all the inside deets about the one and only Arataki Ito. Zach, throwing it back to you. Oh, he had, his attack string looks so and good. that's all from our special correspondent, Max Middleman. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Max. Bye, guys. Guess that was okay, Max. <laughs> Just kidding. He, he looks like such a cool character, though. Like, he's got really interesting combos and stack stacking. And, like, I don't know. That just seems really cool to play. Totally. Next, we're moving on to our other new playable character in version 2.3. Let's see him in action. Goro! Ooh. Oh, so cute. Certain group of people are definitely down bad right now. You? <laughs> oh, look, he's looking at fish. Oh, 
Oh, the poor, the poor. All these paws. If there's anything ever troubling you, oh, don't keep it all muzzled up inside. You can always speak your mind with me. Although I can't guarantee that I'll always have an answer, I'll certainly offer you my best advice. Even when I can't muster much of a response, you can always count on me to be a good listener. Whatever it is, I'm all ears. Aw, the dog pond, the banner is so cute. It is. I love it. Thanks, guys. Uh, well, this banner is more than just for show. It provides buffs to active characters within the ability's AoE based on the number of party members in field who are of the Geo element. So, for example, oh, Geo when we Supremacy. have one Geo party member, it grants a defense bonus. When we have two Geo party members, in addition to the defense bonus, it increases resistance to interruption. And when we have three Geo party members, it adds a Geo damage bonus on top of the previous two bonuses we just mentioned. Geo okay, Unga Bunga! So what you're saying is the more Geo characters we have in our party, like, I don't know, Albedo, the more buffs we gain from Goro's elemental skill? Yes, that is correct. Uh, any characters who lack defense and Geo, and there's a few of them, would probably like that a lot. Yes. And finally, this is my patch! <laughs> thanks. thanks Geo Unga Bunga! We have Goro's elemental burst, Juga Forward Unto Victory. Unleashing his burst, Goro deals AoE Geo damage and creates a field known as General's Glory. Just like his elemental skill, the field provides buffs to active characters according to the number of Geo party members. What's special about this field is that it moves together with your active character and periodically generates a crystal collapse, which deals AoE Geo damage to one opponent within its AoE. After unlocking the talent Heedless of the Wind and Weather, Goro's elemental burst also increases all party members' defense. And another one of Goro's talents, a favor repaid, grants damage bonuses to Goro's elemental skill and elemental burst based on his defense, which is great because I love seeing characters using different stats. Oh, wow, so that's all really cool. But I have to admit that little sidekick of his is so cute. Look at how it waves its banner <laughs> alongside Goro. Oh, I want to be its friend. <laughs> okay, guys, focus. Come on. I, oh, I kept a good defense feed. <laughs> uh... So aside from his combat-related talents, Goro also has a pretty useful exploration talent called Seeker of Shinies. Yes, Seeker of what? that's Seeker what? of Shinies. Please Shiny. be good. It's amazing and it's adorable, yes, I totally understand that. This talent displays the location of nearby resources unique to Inazuma on the mini-map while you have oh. Goro in your party. That's oh right. my goodness, let's go seek some shinies! <laughs> it's gonna be so handy when we're farming materials in Inazuma. Totally. Yeah, so you guys like Goro? Sound pretty good? Yes. Very good. The event wishes for version huh? 2.3 are gonna be a little different from previous versions. This time, we will be opening two character event wishes at the oh. same time during the earlier phase of version 2.3. They are Albedo's Secretum Secretorum and Eula's Born of Ocean Swell. Okay, so both Albedo and Eula's rerun will be available at the same time then. Finally, means. they've done this. What else we got? Cool, yeah. Simultaneous well, also reruns. In the later phase of version 2.3. The character event wish Oni's Royale will become available. About time they've done this. Arataki Ito and Goro. I'm Bro. guessing many of our viewers might be curious about the first two rerun event wishes, so why don't we give some more details? Oh yeah, yes, for sure. Uh, with each version update, we've met many new companions in our journey. So some new players might want to get limited characters from previous event wishes, but it's probably going to take a long time before they see their favorite character return. After collecting and considering Wait, that means we might get Zhongli and Xiao together. Yes, decided to push reruns or Zhongli and Ganyu. The timing fits the version content. So, coming Xiao back to Ganyu. the two concurrent character event True. wishes in version 2.3, both will actually share the same cumulative pull count toward the five star drop guarantee. Shed pity, which shed means pity. Any pulls you make on one of the character event wishes will also count towards the other. So, for example, if you pulled 50 times on Albedo's Secretum Secretorum and didn't gain a single five-star character, then you are still guaranteed to gain at least one five-star character in the remaining 40 pulls on Eula's Born of Shad Pushes pity, well. interesting. There will be more information in an upcoming announcement with more details on these new wish mechanics. That's pretty Paul. I think expected, this is good. With new characters comes new storylines. Ito's story quest, Taurus Iracundus, will be added in the new version for travelers to explore. The Oni race once left countless figures in Inazuman Legends, but how do Ito or other Oni live in the current Inazuma? 
For any players interested in diving deeper into Ito's backstory, this story quest will be a great place to start. Sounds swell to me. <laughs> In addition to Ito's story quest, both Goro and Beto will be receiving their very own hangout <gasps> events. Beto hangout! This is actually yeah, one right. I will Players play. Are gonna get an inside look at some of the secrets behind General Dude, Beto is a badass. Oh, and, and, and I'm so we'll curious about Beto's backstory. For an all new adventure in her hangout as well. We have quite a few new storylines awaiting travelers in the new version, so remember to save up some story keys to unlock those. That's huge. Heck yeah. If you like new characters and storylines, I bet you'll like some new weapons and artifacts in oh. version 2.3. Oh, new artifacts! New five star Claymore, Red Horn Stone. That looks so cool, by the way. Oh, in defense one of version artifacts. Weapon yeah, defense and artifacts. Also, and healing artifacts bonus, Kokomi Oscar artifacts. Four piece set. The four piece set is defense plus 30%. A character equipped with this artifact set will obtain the curiosity effect in the following conditions. When on the field, the character gains one stack after hitting an opponent with a geo attack. Doesn't look like there's a corner. Maybe there is. Triggering a maximum of once every 0.3 seconds. So basically, every time Ito swings, it's going to trigger a stack. When off the field, the character gains one stack every three seconds. Curiosity can stack up to four times, each providing 6% defense and 6% geo damage bonus. So that is going to be 24% defense bonus and 24% geo damage bonus. So you're going to have 54% defense bonus from this set. This is a really good set for Noel. It's a pretty good set for Albedo, pretty good set for Goro, and a very, very, very good set for Ito. When six seconds pass without gaining a curiosity stack, one stack is lost. So this is going to be pretty, pretty strong on all of those Geo characters other than Zhongli and Ningguan. So only Zhongli and Ningguan don't really benefit from this set. And then the Kokomi set is healing bonus plus 15%. When the character equipping this artifact set heals a character in the party, a sea dyed foam will appear for three seconds, accumulating the amount of HP recovered from healing, including overflow healing, at the end of the duration. The sea dyed foam will explode, dealing damage to nearby opponents based on 90% of the accumulated healing. This is a whole essay. This damage is calculated similarly to reactions such as electric. Electrocharger Superconduct, but is not affected by Elemental Mastery, Character Levels, or Reaction Damage Bonuses. Only one sea dyed foam can be produced every 3.5 seconds. Oh my god, it's still going. Each sea dyed foam can accumulate up to 30,000 HP, including overflow healing. There can be no more than one sea dyed foam active at any given time. This effect can still be triggered even when the character who is using this artifact set is not on the field. So this is a, a set for Kokomi. It can be like a set for Jean or any healer. It can be a set for, and it allows them to do a little bit more damage. In other words, it's trash. In other words, it's garbage, guys. Because realistically speaking, no, I don't think many people are going to hard farm this to try and max this out efficiently. But you know, it's a fodder set that you can you can put on your characters as placeholders, and it's going to give you a bit of bonus damage, a bit of bonus healing. So it is what it is. The new sword looks incredible. It looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. The new set, it's it's great and the reason why it's great is because i get to farm this for at least three characters so i'm going to be putting it on albedo goro and also ito maybe not albedo because there is you know the other set i forgot what it was called the hp set which gives you ticking bonuses for shield bonus and also attack percent is pretty good on albedo as well but this one is a must-have for Ito and Goro. At the very least, Ito, this is an absolute must-have set for Ito. There is no other set that will be as good as this set. There will be sets that are kind of close to this set, but this set is by far the best for Ito and probably Noel. So you definitely want to get this set for Ito and Noel. This boss looks so cool, by the way. What are you doing? Where is your Zhongli shield? Aether, what are you doing? Just use a Zhongli shield. You don't need to iframe. Look at this bozo. Just use the Zhongli shield. Why are you pretending you don't have it? 
Okay, just use the Zhongli shield and trivialize and the boss. That's our new open world boss, the Golden Wolf Lord. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> spicy puppy snake. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of grappling with like wanting to fight it and wanting to pet it. I don't really know. What I'm going doing. to make it my uh, Golden Wolf friend. <laughs> oh, did you guys see the tornado too? I'm like, oh, I better not get hit with that thing. <laughs> yeah, seeing that just made me feel winded. Also, the size of that thing, that is one giant rift hound. Yeah, now that you mention it, the structures of their bodies look really similar. Great observation. Technically, the Golden Wolf Lord is the king of the rift wolves, which is also the reason why rift hounds and rift hound whelps appeared in Surumi Island in the first place. As a giant, monstrous beast from another world, its subjects are tasked with making preparations before it descends. And since this monster will be a recurring boss in Surumi Island, players will be able to challenge this abyssal beast at any time. Okay, challenge accepted, but how do we fight it? Well, let's give everyone the inside scoop. In combat, the Golden Wolf Lord's attacks can apply stacks of the Corrosion status, oh, no. which will cause no. all characters in the party to continuously lose HP. Oh no. When the Wolf Chi -chi Lord's meta. HP drops to a certain threshold, Chi -chi it will summon Rift Town Alphas to provide it with shields. Well, that just doesn't sound fair. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm up for this fight, but it does sound pretty tough. Yeah, but, but don't worry. In the latter stage of the fight, the Wolf Lord's resistance to Geo attacks decreases, oh. while its attack increases. So oh. you'll have to factor that into your strategy. I gotta do math? <laughs> oh, never mind. Geo <laughs> resistance goes down. Nope. Ah, I never mind. Back to Zhongli, guys. Monster. All right, it's probably a good time to take a short break. Zhongli and damage. Give away our second redemption code. Sounds good. All right, code inbound in three, two, one. Wait, who was that? I'm not sure. Wow, guys, so there's the code on the screen. Quick notes. Goro will unfortunately not be really good with other characters that are not Geo, which is probably a big downer for a lot of people. Is like, you know, if they don't want to play with Geo characters, then Goro is pretty much useless unless you're playing with at least another Geo character. The plus side is if you have any other Geo character you like playing, Goro is great with them. And the plus side of that is the double Geo resonance is really, really strong. It's a very, very good resonance. Um, Aratakito looks amazing. The new artifact set is great for the defense characters, the defense Geo characters. The big downside though is that it comes with Kokomi's artifact set, which being realistic is, Whoa. you know, unless you play Kokomi, it's it's pretty copium. Comrades. Kokopium, Kokopium, Kokopium. So you're going to be frustrated Welcome farming that artifact. Travelers. Next up, we'll be giving some exclusive details on the new events coming in version 2.3. This time, we're returning to the snowy dragon spine area to explore an no! all new event. No! <gasps> I hate dragon I spine. You know a thing or two about dragon spine, so why don't you take the lead? It would be my pleasure, Zach. <laughs> of course. Okay. Well, I'm excited to chill in Dragon Spine again, but what kinds of gameplay? Stop capping, Goro. You're not excited to chill in Dragon Spine. Stop the lying to is yourself. It's called agility training. Basically, it's a special speed training. Once you start, you need to follow the guides to proceed down a race course. The goal is to get the highest score possible before successfully reaching the end. And uh, your score is based on the amount of time spent. And Ooh. the number of insignias of adventure and insignias of conquest you're able to collect during the Wait. Journey. Ooh. This actually looks and it fun. It also looks like we've got some special buffs to make use of. That is correct. Special blessings will They've sometimes got the appear buff. while you race. There it's are a me, a Mario. Yahoo. First is the Gale Spring Blessing, which will enhance your character's jumping abilities. And second is the Iron Skin Blessing, which will allow your characters to shatter ice pillars around them. The second type of gameplay is tracker training. Travelers will need to find and melt all the ice crystal piles within uh, the training area to complete the challenge. So Amber and Yoimiya content a must for your party in this one. Yep, yep. But this training shouldn't be too much of a problem. We just need to be careful of the nearby enemies and surrounding environments. And our third type of gameplay is combat training. Ooh, combat, the amber buff we part. needed, guys. Combat the amber yoimi buff. Lures that can be activated to begin the training session. Lures will start in a state of source cold and laminate cold air that not only increases the rate at which sheer cold will accumulate on your character, 
but also gives nearby opponents a buff at fixed intervals. Hmm, sounds like this one might be a little more intense for challengers then. Yeah, but don't worry. There are multiple mechanisms around the lures. Travelers can activate these mechanisms by attacking them while carrying Scarlet Quartz. Once you've activated the three mechanisms, they will change the lore state to heat source and cancel the accumulation of sheer cold. Mm. Yeah, see? When lores switch to heat source mode, characters will also restore a certain amount of energy at fixed intervals. So on heat source mode, dealing damage to opponents while carrying Scarlet Quartz will unleash all the Quartz energy in a single blow, Whoa. dealing AoE pyro damage to the opponents. Whew, all right, I can already right. see myself searching frantically to find Scarlet Quartz in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but actually, besides looking for Scarlet Quartz in the surrounding area, you can also obtain Scarlet Quartz by defeating certain monsters during the challenge. Hmm. All three of these trainings have multiple challenges, which may be completed to obtain event currencies, primo gems, and mora. You can also obtain some snowman components from the tracker training and combat training. Travelers can also Aww. exchange some of their components with their friends. Oh, hey, so we're all friends. Why don't yeah. we Aww. perceivably build <laughs> them together? <laughs> we could build snowmen. I'd be down. Yeah. That is very exciting. And to add to the excitement, players will be able to claim rewards by building snowmen, including so a cute. new four-star sword named Cinnabar Spindle. Yeah, That's you want to so refine cute. this bad boy? Well, you can uh, collect event currencies and exchange them for the sword's refinement materials via the event shop. Anyway, back to our event. There have been mysterious disappearances of animals across Inazuma lately. And of course, the Traveler is there to help. According to the Commission, our objective is to find and bring the missing animals back. During investigation, we get to find a mysterious dog which patrols around some of the missing animals. A dog? There's like a whole bunch of dogs here. These are all its canine bunshin, which are like illusionary copies. Oh yeah, these aren't your average Ninja guard dog. dog. They carry Ninja a little dogos. sword. <laughs> That's why we need to <laughs> shadow sneak clone to where jutsu. The, dog keeps the little animals and avoid being detected. And let's oh, wow. <laughs> that sir sounds super scary. Yes, it does. In this event, travelers will obtain a gadget called the ubiquity net. Travelers can use it to replace their elemental skill with the net's ability. We'll use this ability on the indicated animals to whisk them away. If the skill hits a canine boonshin, it will be stunned for a short time. Travelers oh. can also activate smoke machines and fireworks around places of interest to cause distractions too. Throughout our investigation, we'll also discover numbers of animals that have been kept in cages inside places called dens of thieves. We'll need to defeat the surrounding opponents first before opening the cages and coming to the rescue. By completing event challenges, we can claim rewards including primo gems, so be sure to give it a try. Damn, this Aether does no ends, damage. Travelers <laughs> can complete the related world requests to obtain a brand new gadget called the Omni Ubiquity Net. That's quite a name. Oh! Yeah. Unlike the gadget oh, from wow. the event, this upgraded net has been More modified using only You can Odo. Pokemon, guys! It said it can capture the essence of smaller creatures before using the net itself as a medium to replicate their forms. So what you're saying is... Pokemon! We can keep pets with it. <laughs> well, sort of. We can use the net as a way oh. of recreating animals that we meet in the open world. And place Pokemon them in impact! But the bottom Time line is, I can be like animals. draft. Our next event is Energy Amplifier Fruition. Some of you may remember the previous Energy Amplifier event. It turns out that after our previous research, some remaining mutation stones have started to surface. In the new version of the Energy Amplifier event, travelers will need to get to the places of interest and eliminate threats there. But mutation stones can grant powerful bonuses to opponents, so we'll want to take care of those first before facing the enemy. Yeah. After defeating the enemies, we can open the chest to claim rewards. What's different from the previous Energy Amplifier event is that once travelers have cleared all the investigation tasks in Act 1, they'll automatically gain the Energy Amplifier and all of the Earman Soul Fruit Fragments. Each act cleared will unlock the corresponding Deceitful Domain. And just like the previous time we entered this event, we will be able to select the difficulty and conditions for the domains Ooh, we enter. Oh, I the like this event. Energy amplifier will help amplify our abilities in uh, these domains. This event is fun. The I like this event. The fragments you configure into the energy amplifier will determine the buffs you gain during the challenge. What in terms bosses? of rewards, there will be both first clear oh, rewards and milestone score rewards to claim in this event. 
so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. Oh, this Our boss. Our next event to introduce is Misty Dungeon, oh, Misty Dungeon Realm again. of Light. Yeah. Travelers may remember this one as well. Just like our previous Misty Dungeon oh, event, this one was good. I like this one. characters to complete dungeon trials. You will need to find all three of the ancient runes in Ride the dungeon trial, and complete the corresponding trial, challenges Sing to Tron activate Sara the trial. Once all three runes are activated, travelers can gain access to the final challenge. There are benediction mechanics with the trials, which allow players to obtain certain bonus effects. At the same time, there are also some automated weapon systems that will detect and attack any intruders. So travelers must use the appropriate reactions to temporarily disable these devices. This time around, there will be new trial characters available and new trials for travelers to challenge. For example, in the Thundershock trial, Electrocharged will not only receive a damage bonus, but also increase the rate at which your elemental skills and bursts can be used. Well, that sounds cool, and also super helpful for finding our way through all the enemies. <laughs> Definitely. That child and don't forget nothing. to finish as many trial quests as possible to claim more rewards. And speaking of recurring events, uh, our nice little bonus. Lieben is coming back in version 2.3 with his goods. Players can search for Lieben and submit the materials that he requests to claim rewards. And that's all we've got for the upcoming events. We've covered quite a bit of content already for version 2.3. So a lot of reruns. We a lot of sure rerun events. did, and buckle up, because there's more. We've got some details on a fun update to the Serena Teapot. Right. After the version 2.3 update, we will be able to put Paimon into our Serena Teapot. And she's got some new dialogue for us while she's in our teapot. <laughs> Come and talk with Paimon whenever you have the chance. Oh, no. I I don't think that I want to if that's what she sounds like, but I think I will take pictures with Paimon. It's not often we get to snap a photo with Paimon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that concludes the new version content for today. That was a pretty good Paimon. Okay, so patch 2.3 to summarize is a lot of reruns. Two rerun banners which will run simultaneously together. They will have shared pity. Uh, if they continue doing this, this will allow MiHoYo to cycle through all the missed characters, which is really, really good for people playing catch-up. However, it's pretty bad if, for example, let's say Xiao and Ganyu, and you want both of them appear at the same time. So, you know, it's some people win, some people lose. Rerun events, I think they picked some really good events to rerun, a lot of combat events. They picked one which has endgame content with the difficulty multiplier. I'm very happy about that. I'm looking forward to that one. I really enjoyed that event. That was fun in co-op as well. Uh, more F2P adventure content there as well. Ito, again, super excited for Ito. The new artifacts, I finally have content to farm again, to build new characters. For three characters, if not four, Noel, Ito, Goro, and Albedo. So, I'm excited. Patch 2.3 looking pop. Every journey has its I'm end. very, very excited for what's incoming. The snowmans are going to be nice as well. Going to make a snowman army in my teapot. And yeah, let me know what you think of the update, guys, on patch 2.3 in the comment section down below. Thank you to the wonderful Twitch chat who have been here with me at www.twitch.tv forward slash Asian guy stream. And have a wonderful, wonderful day to you guys on YouTube as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.